today and I'm looking at one of the statistical pictures we use to display data and what I'm looking at is called a back-to-back -back stem and leaf. So I have another video about how to draw a stem and leaf but this is a special type of stem and leaf called a back-to-back -back stem and leaf and we use it when we've got two data sets that are related. So for instance we might have the scores of boys in a maths test and girls in the same maths test or we might have the score of a group of pupils in an English test and the score of a group of pupils in a French test and we want to compare those two sets. So it's really useful for comparing the two data sets. We can easily see the mode, the most common score from it. We can calculate the median, which is the score of the middle person. And um, at leaving cert level, uh, we can also calculate the interquartile range, which used to be on the junior cert course, but doesn't seem to be at present. We can also use a stem and leaf to comment on the spread or the range or the distribution of the data. So it's actually a very useful type of display. You don't really see it generally in media, but it is something they like to ask about in maths. Okay, so here's an example. Today, uh, the time taken in minutes for a certain journey by bus and car is shown. So here you can see we've got the, the times for the bus, 24, 14, 25 minutes, 28 minutes, 47 minutes, and so on. The car, 17 minutes, 18 minutes, 12 minutes, and so on. Obviously the data isn't ordered yet, and the stem and leaf helps us to order the data as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all do a rough stem and leaf, and then we're going to do a proper stem and leaf. So we have a rough stem and leaf. So we're gonna do a rough, a rough one first, and then do a an ordered one or an accurate one. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So so here we are. Normally with a stem and leaf, I just draw my stem and then I work to the right of it. But for a back-to-back -back stem and leaf, I put my stem down the middle. So this is my stem. And then I'm gonna work on both sides, this way and this way. So this is gonna be the bus values and this is gonna be the car values. And this is my stem. Now, if you look here, the, the values range from nine um, so we'll start with 0, 1, and remember these each stand for 0, this stands for 10, this stands for 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't even know whether I need to go up as far as 50, but we'll find out in a minute. So what we do is we take the bus, now let's do the car first actually, because we're going to work to the right for that, and that's the one that we're used to. So for the car, we've got 17, so the 1 is here, so I put a 7, we've got 18, We've got 12. So you notice the first number of the number we're doing here is the tens. So it goes in the tens row. Here's 110. Okay. 23 would go here. 23. 32. 36. 20. 11. 41. 25. 26. And 29. Now let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now that's only the rough version. I'll show you what happens to that in a minute. Let's look at the bus. So the bus, we have 24. Now this is weird because I'm going to put the 4 here. It's 24. Okay. And 14, the 4 would go here. 25, the 5 would go there. 28, um, 47. So 47. 13, so it's kind of a bit like in a mirror, isn't it? Zero, 9, so zero, 9 has no 10s, so it's 0 10s and 9 units. 17, 30, 35, 16, and 39. Okay, now that's a present that's useful, but it's not that useful because it's not in order. These are all over the place. So let's, sh let's look at what an ordered stem and leaf would look like. So again, we put the stem down the middle stem and again we do zero one two three four i see i don't need the five so i'll leave that out this is going to be the car on this side and this is going to be the bus and now so zero nine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these in order so it's going to be 11 12 8 17 and 18 and then 20 23 20 5, 26, 29. So if you notice, I'm ordering it by putting the numbers, starting with the smallest one closest to the stem, and then working outwards. Now, we haven't got any repeats here, actually, it was interesting. But if we if we had repeats, then um, we, we would just write them beside each other. So 32, 36, and then 41. 
zero nine then we've got 14 no we've got 13 first haven't we because three is closer to the stem the smallest number goes closest to the stem three four six and seven that's that ordered then we've got two four two five and two eight then we have three zero three five and three nine and then four seven okay now what can we tell from this data straight away the first thing we can tell is that there's no mode because none of the numbers were uh, repeated. The second thing that we can tell is that there's kind of a concentration of scores around maybe the, the tens and the twenties, though we've still got a few thirties. So we can see that, you know, most people's the, the journey took them either between kind of between 10 and 30 minutes. A lot of the people says so a concentration of scores around there. We can see that the range for the bus was between 9 and 47. So the range was between 9 and 47. And here, the car, the range was between 11 and 41. So there's a bigger range for the bus than for the car. Now, somebody coming along looking at this wouldn't necessarily know what this means. So we have to do what's called a key, and that's very important. So the key here would be something like 2, 0 equals 20 minutes and we'd put in a key over here as well which would be something like 4 2 4 slash 2 equals 24 minutes so you can see by our key we're showing that on this side the first number is the 10 and the second number is the 0 we're showing on this side that the first number is the units and the second number is the 20 okay are the tens so Here's our ordered stem and leaf. As I say, we can't see what the mode is, but we can see um, roughly the distribution of the data and the range as well. Now, if I was being asked to find a median from this, so let's just do the median very quickly on this set. So the median, you know, is the score of the middle person. That Once I've got them all ranked from smallest to biggest, it's the score of the middle person. So I have 12, haven't I, in each set? So I've got 12 cars. So the middle cars, let's just write this out. We don't need to write it out normally, but just so you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if I was to knock off one at each end, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, we've knocked off five on each side. We can see the middle is going to be somewhere between these two. In fact, it's going to be the mean of these two. It's going to be the mean of the sixth and seventh scores. We can use the same method for finding the median on a stem and leaf. So we can knock off, starting at the lowest value, which here is 11, we can knock off the lowest, the highest, the next lowest, the next highest, the next lowest, the next highest. Now, do you notice how we've just got to be careful? 41, 36, 32, that's working down. 11, 12, and 17, that's working up. So from this end, we're working up the numbers. From this end, we're working down the numbers. The next lowest is 18. The next highest after 32 is 29. The next lowest is 20. And the next highest is 26. And here we have, look, it's going to be the median is going to be the mean of those two values. So the median is equal to the mean of 23 and 25 divided by 2, which will be 24. So the median is 24. OK, I hope that's useful. Just very quickly again, the range, because I didn't actually write that down. The range for the bus, we can see, is going to be 47 minus 9, which is 38 minutes. And the range for the car, is going to be the highest is 41 minus 11 is the lowest. So that's going to be 30 minutes. Okay, I hope that's useful.